Hello everybody and welcome back to the dig site. Today we're going to be going over one of my favorite dinosaurs, Sinraptor. I don't really know what it is about Sinraptor that I love. Um, it's just such a strange, interesting theropod dinosaur. So today we're going to be going over Sinraptor and um, also I'd like to note that I'm going to be having a Christmas special soon. I don't really know what I'll do for Christmas. Um, I, I, I like, you know, I'm not a very festive person, but I am, you know, I, I, I celebrate Christmas and I'd like to do something on the channel about it, even if many people watching this likely don't celebrate Christmas. Um, it is not, you know, a, a universal holiday. It, it is just a very uh, 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 abundant and common one here in Australia. Um, and uh, as I'm sure many of you know, I'm personally am not religious. So yeah, let's get into Sinraptor and forget all that stuff because I'm sure a lot of people are getting angry at me in the comment sections already. The nearly complete skeleton of Sinraptor was found in 1987 during a joint Canadian and Chinese dinosaur project. It was evidently a carnosaur, but appeared to be more primitive than those of North America. Other Chinese carnosaurs seemed to show some similarity to it, and this was the basis for erecting a new family, the Sinraptoridae. Sinraptor is a much smaller animal than its North American relative, Allosaurus, and may have been able to run more swiftly. An unusual arrangement of the neck joint indicates that it held its head higher than other theropods did. Its compact body and lightweight head suggest that it could change direction quickly, almost cheetah-like during an attack. Its teeth have been found associated with the bones of a large sauropod, probably its principal prey. And that's really quite interesting to think that Sinraptor may have hunted large sauropods considering its rather small size. Uh, now, Sinraptor lived in China. Its classification is the Theropoda tetanurae and Carnosauria. Uh, its name means Chinese hunter. Uh, it was named by Curry and Zhao in 1994. It lived during the Kimmeridgian to Tithonian stages of the late Jurassic period, and it was about 7 meters or 23 feet long. Uh, its life size was a hunter, obviously, and its species was S. dongi and S. hepingensis. So yeah, those are the two uh, Sinraptor species, and uh, this animal is truly gorgeous, gorgeous, beautiful animal. Um, as a kid, I loved it. I, I, I used to find books with Sinraptor, and it has this gorgeous artwork of Sinraptor in them. And uh, I used to think it was just a beautiful, very, very terrifying looking animal. Um, but yeah, it, it's a really incredible animal. I really do love those sort of uh, carnosaur, you know, uh, Jurassic theropod dinosaurs. I really like to cover more of them on the channel. And in fact, what I think I'll do is um, maybe leading up to Christmas, I'll do a bit of a, uh, a special on, on theropods because they're just such fascinating animals, really true, uh, uh, fantastic predators of nature. So yeah. Thank you guys for watching. I hope you learned something today. Um, I like these little quick dino bios. I haven't done one of them in a long time. Um, so yeah, if you learned something, leave a like and, and comment down below if I got anything wrong or if you'd like to add something to discussion. And uh, subscribe if you want. I'm not really too... I don't really care about subscriptions as long as people are watching it and learning. That's all that I want. I just want to educate people. So yes, thank you guys for watching and I will see you all next time. Cheers.